There's a number woven into the very fabric of reality. A number that decides everything from the color of your shirt to the fact that you and the atoms you're made of can even exist. That number is roughly 0.00729735253 or 1 137th. Physicists have called it the greatest damn mystery of physics. Because if it were just a tiny bit different, the universe as we know it would be impossible. So what is this magic number? And why is it one of the most profound unanswered questions in all of science? The universe runs on a set of rules, what we call fundamental constants. Think of them as the universe's settings. Most of them come with units, like the speed of light in meters per second. But one number is different. It's pure. It has no dimensions, no units attached. It's just a raw number that would be exactly the same for any alien civilization, anywhere in the cosmos. This is the fine structure constant, represented by the Greek letter alpha. So what does it do? In simple terms, alpha sets the strength of electromagnetism, one of the four fundamental forces of nature. Gravity holds planets in orbit, and the strong nuclear force glues atomic nuclei together. But electromagnetism? It does. Well, pretty much everything else. It's the force that keeps electrons orbiting the nucleus, making atoms possible in the first place. It dictates how atoms bond to form molecules, which means it's responsible for every chemical reaction, the structure of all matter, and even the behavior of light itself. Alpha is the master volume knob for that entire force. Its value, measured with stunning precision, is about 1, 137.036. The fact that it's a dimensionless number, like pi, makes it incredibly fundamental. Pi is a pure geometric truth about circles. Alpha, it seems, is a pure numerical truth about reality itself. It's the number that tells an electron just how much to care about a proton's pull and how likely it is to spit out a photon of light. But where did this number come from? And why that specific seemingly random value? This is where the real mystery begins. Our story kicks off in the early 20th century, a wild time for physics. Scientists were just getting their heads around the new, bizarre quantum world, with the atom as their main obsession. Niels Bohr's simple model of the hydrogen atom was a smash hit. It correctly predicted that when you heat up hydrogen, its electrons leap between energy levels and spit out light at specific frequencies, creating a unique barcode of light, a spectrum. But when scientists like Albert Michelson looked closer with better tools, they saw something the model couldn't explain. The bright lines in the spectrum weren't single lines at all. They were split into multiple, incredibly fine, closely spaced lines. It was a tiny error in the theory, a fine structure that hinted at something deeper going on. In 1916, a brilliant physicist named Arnold Sommerfeld decided to crack this puzzle. He souped up Bohr's model, Adding in Einstein's new theory of special relativity and playing with the idea of elliptical electron orbits. As he worked, he found that to make his math perfectly match what was being observed, to explain the splitting of those spectral lines, he had to plug a new number into his equations. That number was alpha. At first, it was basically just a fudge factor, a mathematical patch to make the theory work. Sommerfeld cooked it up from a combination of other known constants, the electron's charge, the speed of light, and Planck's constant. But this didn't solve the mystery. It just made it weirder. Why did this particular mix of cosmic ingredients bake up into this particular number? Physics had stumbled upon a number that seemed to be hard-coded into the universe, but it had no clue who the programmer was or why they chose that specific value. We know what Alpha does and how we found it. But the truly mind-bending part is this. Why is the value 1 137th so critical? Well, it turns out our existence is balanced on it. This is the fine-tuning argument, and it's one of the most unnerving ideas in science. Let's play a game. What if we could reach out and turn that cosmic volume knob for electromagnetism? First, let's turn it up. Imagine a universe where alpha is larger, say 1 100th instead of 1 137th. The electromagnetic force would be stronger. The results? Catastrophic. Electrons would be violently yanked toward the nucleus of every atom. This would not only shrink atoms, but more importantly, the repulsion between atoms would be so strong they couldn't share electrons. Chemical bonding, the very foundation of chemistry, would be impossible. No water, no carbon, no DNA, no life. On top of that, the repulsion between protons in a nucleus would overwhelm the strong force. 
you couldn't build stable atoms much bigger than helium, let alone the carbon and oxygen we need to exist. Okay, let's turn the knob the other way. What if alpha were smaller, say 1, 150? The electromagnetic force would be weaker. Electrons would be held so loosely that complex molecules would just fall apart. But a bigger disaster would happen inside stars. The gravity in a star's core crushes hydrogen, but it's the electromagnetic force that provides the resistance needed to get things hot enough for nuclear fusion. If that force were weaker, stars would never ignite. They wouldn't shine. They wouldn't forge the heavy elements needed for planets and people. The universe would be a cold, dark, and boring place. Our universe exists in a shockingly narrow Goldilocks zone for Alpha. If the number were just a little different, the cosmos as we know it, a place of stars, galaxies, and us, simply couldn't be. And that forces us to ask a very deep question. Are we just that lucky? The sheer weirdness of Alpha has obsessed the greatest minds in physics for a century. The legendary Richard Feynman called it one of the greatest damn mysteries of physics, and said that all good theoretical physicists put this number up on their wall and worry about it. He was convinced there had to be a logical reason for its value, but it slipped through his fingers his entire life. Another giant of physics, Wolfgang Pauli, was so haunted by it that he joked his first act upon meeting the devil would be to ask him how the fine structure constant comes to be. So what are the possible explanations? Scientists have been attacking this problem from a few different angles. First, there was a kind of mathematical mysticism. The physicist Arthur Eddington was convinced in the 1930s that alpha had to be exactly 1 136, and later 1 137th, and he tried to build these elaborate proofs to show it. All these attempts have fizzled out, especially as our measurements have gotten better and shown that alpha definitely isn't a neat, simple fraction. Then there's the more philosophical angle, the anthropic principle. This idea basically says we shouldn't be surprised that the constant is perfect for life, because if it weren't, we wouldn't be here to measure it. If there's a multiverse with trillions of universes, all with random settings, it's inevitable that a few, like ours, would get it right. It's a logical argument, but to many scientists, it feels like a total cop-out. It doesn't explain why the number is what it is, it just says, be happy it is. The most exciting path forward is the hunt for new physics. Many physicists believe alpha isn't truly fundamental at all. Instead, it might be an emergent property of a deeper theory of everything that unites all the forces of nature. Ideas like string theory try to do this, suggesting that all forces and particles are just different vibrations of tiny strings. In a theory like that, the constants of nature wouldn't be random at all. They'd be calculated from the geometry of hidden dimensions. But so far, no theory has been able to spit out the right number for alpha. And there's one last twist. Is alpha even constant? Our current theories actually predict its strength should change depending on the energy of an interaction. And sure enough, at the insane energies inside a particle accelerator, alpha's value runs up to about 1 128. Astronomers are also staring at light from ancient quasars, hunting for any sign that alpha was different billions of years ago. So far, the measurements show it's been incredibly stable. But finding even the tiniest change over cosmic time would shatter our current understanding of physics and open a door to a whole new reality. So we're left with this number. 1. 137.036. It's the signature of our reality. It's the setting that makes stars shine, atoms stable, chemistry work, and life possible. It's a pure, dimensionless number that seems to have been tuned with impossible precision. We don't know why it has this value. It could be a cosmic lottery ticket, a clue to a vast multiverse, or the most important signpost we have pointing toward a deeper, more beautiful theory of physics. The mystery of the fine structure constant isn't a failure of science. It's the exact opposite. It's the kind of deep, frustrating, and inspiring question that pushes science forward. It's a constant reminder that for all we know, the universe's greatest secrets are still out there, waiting. The magic number is still waiting for an explanation. A challenge to the next generation of thinkers, explorers, and dreamers. What do you think is behind it all? A lucky accident? A hint of some deeper design? Let me know your theories down in the comments. We tackle the universe's biggest mysteries every single week, so be sure to subscribe.